getting in the outdoors was uh, was one of the only avenues of, of escape that um, I had. Really all I had to look forward to at the end of the day was getting up the canyon, um, trying that next climb. It's become more of an escape for me. Some of like my mental space was a little off. Anytime I felt that way, I could come up here for a couple hours. It's a pretty unique opportunity to get to climb the very stones that the city is built from. It evolved from being a place of like exploration and discovery to refreshing my mind. The canyon really, uh, it, it became a part of me and it's, it's what made me feel a part of the city, like I could belong here. Does anyone want to give me a spot? <laughs> to be able to come up here just for a couple hours, you know, there's no, no two hour hike, you know, no, no 30 minute approach, just park, start climbing. For the Salt Lake community, it's like the hub for everything. Almost everyone you meet in Salt Lake has climbed up here, whether it's trad, sport, bouldering, and like everyone can relate to the canyon. Uh, the granite little cottonwood canyon is is very unique and it's hard and it it kind of weeds out the the people who are really going to take this on as a lifelong pursuit and then i tried again fall try it again fall try it again fall try it again fall because i figured out that it's more about positioning of like your feet your hands slabby standing on a tic tac holds you know are, are barely there but but there's something and it's enough to get up To imagine that they could be just completely destroyed is devastating. Welcome back. Skiers and snowboarders can tell you all about the traffic in Little Cottonwood Canyon. The Utah Department of Transportation has some potential alternatives to help ease some of that congestion in Little Cottonwood Canyon. In Little Cottonwood Canyon, what is the best way to fix the traffic flow problem? The Utah Department of Transportation considered 124 plans to alleviate the congestion. Now that list is down to the final two. There's some things that you, you wouldn't be able to get back. It's not like we can reset these climbs somewhere else. And there's, there's no rebuilding these rocks. There's no rebuilding this community once it's destroyed. I've lived downstream from you here about uh, for, for 30 years. I'm a skier. And I'm certainly concerned, along with 95% uh, of my neighbors, about the future of Little Cottonwood Canyon. So many differing opinions on this. In fact, you have the climbing community who's also worried that a gondola would destroy many boulders and ruin the beautiful scenery of the canyon. You know, to destroy or replace something as special and almost sacred in one sport to just make another sport slightly more convenient seems crazy. For, for me and for a lot of people, especially people I know closely that have like a similar relationship with Little Cottonwood, losing these boulders that mean so much to them and that they've had such um, impactful experiences on would change their perception of climbing in, in Salt Lake. And I think since Little brings such a big part of the climbing community together and builds relationships within the climbing community, losing these uh, amazing boulders that everyone 
does and everyone is so excited about would take a big chunk of the climbing community away. I think it would um, hurt a lot of the relationships that are built up here in these woods, on these boulders. Yesterday said, if you look at operational costs, the bus alternative versus the gondola, probably the same amount of money. I question whether we need a public investment to support two ski resorts. And my head goes back to the days of build, build, build in this valley. We wanted to be something. We were fighting to be something. But might we be better to just work with the Forest Service to put some limits and accept that there's 10 days a year when the snow's really coming down and the risk is too high and we just close the resorts. That to me is a better alternative. There are less destructive options. There, there's no need to sacrifice something so important to one community for the benefit of another. Um, there are ways that both sports can continue to thrive and to grow. And there's, there's no rebuilding these rocks. There's no rebuilding this community.